This week is the running of the world-famous Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Mushers from around the world have converged on Anchorage, Alaska with the goal of arriving in Nome in one piece. This past weekend at Winoga was the Bachelor Butte Dog Derby, where dog mushers from miles around congregated for the love of the outdoors, the love of community, and most of all, the love of dogs. But these dogs aren't just any dogs, they're elite athletes. And not like human athletes, mind you. In many ways, better. According to ScienceDaily.com, perhaps the most amazing comparison to human athletes is using a thing called the VO2 max, essentially the ratio of oxygen you can take in during exercise per pound of body weight. These dogs have uh, one of the highest VO2 maxes ever tested. Having a high VO2 max makes for a stronger heart, increases energy and stamina, and speeds up recovery. A good amateur human athlete has a VO2 max of around 60. Lance Armstrong, a finely tuned world-class athlete, was said to have had a VO2 max of 85. A finely trained mushing dog can have a VO2 max of not 100 or 200, but around 300 or five times higher than that of an amateur athlete. Because of this, mushing dogs can go from hours of intense, strenuous exercise with just a short break, back out on the trail in the same shape they were before they started making them capable of long-term, sustained running. And boy, do they love it. The dogs that run the 1,100-mile Iditarod race can run over 100 miles a day, climbing tall mountain passes, blazing down those mountain passes, and often under the least ideal of conditions. Thusly, mushing dogs can burn up to 12,000 calories in a single day. That means a 55-pound sled dog would consume the equivalent of 24 Big Macs a day. And while that may sound a little weird, mushing dogs actually thrive on a high-fat, high-protein diet. Okay, here's a few more things about mushing dogs that I didn't know. Mm. A sled dog team is made up of essentially three or four types of dogs. The lead dogs tend to be a little younger, show good initiative and common sense. They're the brains behind the human brains. Swing or point dogs are placed right behind the leads and often serve as a backup, essentially helping the lead dogs execute turns. Next are the team dogs. They're chosen to help maintain speed or pace. And finally, there are the wheel dogs at the back. Oftentimes they're the biggest dogs, but most importantly, they tend to be strong, steady, calm by nature, and they use their size and agility to help the sled around corners. Some believe sled dogs have been around for over 9,000 years. They were essential for transportation, hunting, protection, and of course, companionship. And while sled dogs have strong hearts, they also have big hearts. So this is Poet, and he's my, he's a Siberian Husky. He's an AKC registered Siberian Husky. And he is also a registered therapy dog. He is very intuitive, and so he knows when people need to be snuggled against. They are great athletes and also great friends. And who wouldn't want to snuggle up on a chilly three dog night with cuties like these to keep you warm? From Winoga Snow Park, I'm former Bachelor Butte Dog Derby five mile champion, Scott Elmas.